What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight T stand up. OCD with everything, as you guys can clearly see. It's Friday. If you woke up in a bad, shitty ass mood, man, just go right back to sleep, man, and try again because you start off the day with that L. You know what I'm saying? Can't be doing that unless you're rocking the gear, man. Show some love on my flight. We got something that could be relatable, man. How many of y'all guys, not only just guys, but my females out there too, you know this impossibility for both sides have been cheated on. You know what I'm saying? Raise your hand right now. You know, and screenshot that and send it to me. Because I most definitely have been a victim of that. I started all the way back going into the uh, 11th grade. You know, I, I don't know if I told you guys a story time about that, but long story short, man, I was a summer camp, basically messing with this chick, and I was absent one day because I was sick, and then came back the next day, and one of my homeboys, well, so-called homeboys or whatever, was messing with her, and uh, they pretty much ended up making everything official. And so I came back and I just seen her, you know, them holding hands on the couch and everything. And I remember I dropped my little book bag, you know, with the ones with the strings from back in the day. <laughs> it is what it is, man. And I remember that feeling, bro. And, you know, nobody should ever go through anything like that. And it was honestly surprising seeing this because I chill around my dog McQueen, you know what I'm saying, often. And, you know, people go through certain things in life. There's nothing wrong with that. But I knew he was going to do some type of music video. I just didn't know that he was actually gonna be serious with it. He dated some girl named, you know what I'm saying, Lisette, Lissetti or something like that, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, almost 2017 in and off. A typical um, LA bougie, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, try to mess mess him up in the head, but you know what I'm saying, he recovered, and he's gonna turn that catastrophe and capitalize off it, which a real, you know what I'm saying, nigga does. Is this like a, a, a rap style, some R&B-ish? But let's check it out, Cheat On Me by McQueen, Mega McQueen. Oh man, there's a lot of flame going on, bro, right off of the middle, like all the steam, all of that is just amazing, like the effects, like, I like, I like the effort, like already, like replaying it, you just get the, you get the effects, you just get that, you know what I'm saying, that vibe. It's just that vibe, but this, this might be controversial though. Let's check it, let's see. Why you had to do me like that? In the shower. Now I'm sitting here, my Bro, I'll tell you this, bro. I would never leave lotion in the car. That is like the worst mistake, especially like if you're in an area where it gets hot easy. Like LA gets hot, but like it gets cold too. But I remember one time in Florida, I left lotion in the car and I was ashy one day and I tried to put the lotion on and pretty much the whole thing like just came out the bottle. Pause, so much, you know what I'm saying, trolls right now. And then went all over my clothes, pause again. And I had to change an outfit, you know? Actually, I wasn't able to change the outfit. You know what I'm saying? Because I was at school and I was getting a ride from somebody else. He didn't want to turn around. So take that lesson from me. I wonder what most of this was a quarter. It looks like in this crib. I got the henny in my right. Oh uh, man, that henny. I don't know what to do. Shout out to Henny Reacts, man. Henny Reacts be out here grinding. Y'all heard of Henny Reacts before? See, I was riding around in my beam of blue hunnets in my passenger. Oh, who? Who that? Oh, oh, who that Betty Queen got in the bed? Is this his new girl? If it is, or even if it's not his girl, it's an upgrade from the last, you know what I'm saying, chick that he was with. You know, I just didn't, especially the last one, it was just like her attitude was just so foul and just, you could just tell, you know, and just, I didn't like the way she was disrespecting the man. She just looks like that type of girl that's just down to earth. You know, maybe he may be chilling and just doing some, you know, basic ish, or maybe he may be serious, who knows, but definitely off the bat, this girl right now, um, whether video vixen or not, she is better than his last shit. You know what I'm saying? Definitely upgrade. <coughs> yeah, she's been in a couple of videos and all of that stuff too with them. So. Whoa, 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 oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Queen is my dog, but has this ever happened to somebody like realistically? Like, you walk in on your girl cheating on you, and the dude is just about the nut, and he just nuts somewhere near you. No homo intended at all what I'm just talking about, bro. If any scenario happens anything close to that dude, 
that person, both of the people in the room have to die. I'm sorry. Like, usually if I, if, if, if it was a scenario where, and it was lucky that I didn't never catch any of my past exes cheating in the action, you know what I'm saying, because it would have got violent. But if something happened like that, both the people in the room, you know what I'm saying, I'm a believer if that if you catch, you know, your significant other cheating, you should take it out on them and beat their ass. You know what I'm saying? And not the person that they sleep with because it kind of wasn't their fault. You never knew how they led them on and manipulated them to thinking that they were single. Or, you know what I'm saying? Got them in the house. So I was always a strong believer in that. But if this had to happen to me, both the people in the room are dying. And I'm going to set the house on fire, bro. That this is like the That is the most disrespectful thing and just low self-esteem that can ever come. Oh my gosh. Man. But this girl right here looks just like Lisette though. I'm sorry, the hair, her hair is beautiful. There's a new girl and everything. And you know, I mess with the hairstyle on females, but you always just gotta say, the junk looks just like the chicken or shrimp ramen noodles, my dude. Like, you can't deny it. It literally looks like, like bro, like if her head was near a bowl, I thought it would be some wasted ramen noodles. Like, but she's pretty, you know what I'm saying, without a doubt, you know, Queen is catching a W, she's an upgrade for Le from Lizette, you know what I'm saying? Why you had to cheat on me? I ain't gonna lie, the hook kinda rocking. Why you had to cheat on me? Hey! You see Chark and Ty the guy in the back. Ooh. Why you had to cheat on me? Okay, and the Gucci flat flops. Why you had to cheat on me? Uh. Uh. Why you had to cheat on me? Yeah. Whoa, hey, hey, y'all, hey. <laughs> Yo, he was just choking out the girl in the back, bro. You see that? Woo! Uh. Ah, man. Dang. It was some strong words said there. You can tell that the last girl put Queen through a lot and it wasn't fair. You know what I'm saying? Um. It seems like, you know what I'm saying, it was a lot of sexual action going on, which is a good thing in people's relationships, you know, but a lot of females tend to nowadays think that just because they fuck up that they pussy is gonna, you know what I'm saying, solve the issue. And that's cool for like the first five minutes after you nut, but you gotta realize what you did was wrong is wrong. You gotta face the consequences, you know what I'm saying? And Queen is proving it. Oh! Wow! Yo! So, you mean to tell me after she was caught and it was done and everything was relationship was finished with, that Lissette girl kept trying to hit him up time after time? You're not forgiven. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't be on that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the edits. <laughs> you didn't take all his glasses. Uh. Cheat on me. Uh. This is a message in this song, a clear message. Never forgive a cheater, you know what I'm saying? I would never forgive a cheater, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, if it's up to that person if they want to get back with them at the end of the day, but I'm a strong believer that like you can, you have full control of what you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Because they felt like at their point that they were strong enough or didn't care about your feelings to do so behind your back. And it can mess up anybody, man. And at this point, Queen is speaking the bright message, like without a doubt. And it's funny, and he did it in a funny way. That's what I'm saying. Like in a funny, funny way without like coming hard, but you know what I'm saying? At the same time, getting that message across. Were those Gucci shades? Damn. Damn. Whoa. Queen got an up, bro. Replay the back ESPN style. <laughs> I tried to do the rewind play. I'm gonna have to edit that out. I was trying to. Oh, Queen. This is an upgrade from the Lissette girl. You know what I'm saying? That Lissette girl had some pair of booty was looking like these, my dude. You know what I'm saying? Queen got something to grab, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying. 
Ain't nothing wrong with skinny minis out there, man. But if you're skinny, you can't be having that attitude and junk, bro. Because you don't got nothing. Like, you know, if the girl pissing you off, at least you can, like, smack him on the booty or just grab their cheeks and be, like, listen, like, tighten down. Like, stop spazzing out. You know what I'm saying? With a skinny girl, what you got to grab? You know? You know what I'm saying? Horny reacts, low key in the cut. JK. Hey, baby. And a what? Hey, yo! Queen is reversing the roles in 2018. Oh my gosh, I just had to state this. There is so much fuego, and I know you see the basketball gear on, you know? You know what I'm saying? The kid is a hooper, official hooper 2018. You don't play. But anyway, yeah. Queen is reversing the roles in this generation this year. The women are now opening the door for the male. If the male, and I feel like women should hear by this, you know, if the male is really, really doing it and holding most of the weight in the relationship, meaning that they're the best part in the financial ways, you know, they have the, you know, the whip and everything, and they're helping you stay where you at, like you living with them, I feel like the woman should be doing things like this, coming around that sexy behind skirt, opening the door, my guy, and pumping your gas. Like, that's whole rolls of, bro, do you know how much a guy, and ladies, listen to this junk, like, be for real, for real, you know, out here. You know, because you know how much a guy would ride for you if you do little stuff like that. Like, we see things like that. And the fact that she did this, man, flipping rolls, man. I'm proud of my dog, Aqua Family. Aqua Family's getting a W, man. I don't care what anybody says. What you guys gonna rate this video? Oh my gosh, Queen, come on, man. Um, yeah, but what would y'all rate this video other than that? That kind of threw me off guard. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a solid nine out of 10. I hope the camera stays up and not goes as a panel down. Wow. Produced by It's Easy. That was fire, low key. High key. You know? A, di a guy that got cheated on does a diss track to his ex. And it's on Friday? Wow, it doesn't get nothing better than that. Comment down below your ratings, man. Uh, for you guys and girls out there, if you guys have ever been cheating on, cheated on, comment down below. I have, and you know, tell me how you dealt with that. Did you end up breaking up with the person? Did you slowly let them back in your life? Did you let them work out or hear them what they had to say? And I just want to hear y'all's opinions, man. As usual, man, we on the road to that so fresh, so clean, clean, three milli, milli to grind. Don't stop, won't stop. Ba, ba, ba. Flight team, stand up! What are you doing with your life right now, man? Wake up. Stop being a square. How you gonna sit up here and click on the video? How you gonna sit up here and click on anything on my social media without copying you some merch? Stop sleeping. Top up, flightreacts.com.